All right, so now we want to talk about the, so one of the practical issues with making Java programs, and that is how do you execute them outside of, say, for instance, IntelliJ. So it's really nice to be able to execute your programs inside of IntelliJ. So here's an example of that. I've got a, a main class, I've got a main method, and it's going to print out a statement right there. All right, so I hit the run button, and down below over here, once it's finished compiling, it will run it. And, you know, that's great. See, it says, hello, this is the main method and the main class. But one of the nice things about Java is you can do this outside of the IDE. So let's take a look at, yeah, how, how could you go about doing that? Well, we can go into, say, Java Shell and try it out there. So with all, all the bells and whistles of what you would find in IntelliJ. So let's see, we're going to make a um, public class, my class, like that. Um, right, and then inside of that, we're going to public static void my method. I'm going to have a method inside with no inputs, and um, we're going to go system dot out dot print line. Uh, this is my method in um, a part of my class. Okay, that. Oops. Close that off there. That and then that. That should work. Nope. Hold on. I forgot the semicolon there. Okay, there we go. So we're we're good with that. Now I have to make an instance of this class. Okay, I have to take the the blueprint that is the the class that I just created. Okay, it's a plan basically. I got to implement it. So then we go. Um, let me see. An instance of my class, we're going to call it um, um, my first class. Call it an instance like that, and we'll say is equal to new my class like that. So I now have an instance of it. So we go my first class like that, and uh, we're going to ask for get class. Let's just make sure we know what's going on here. Okay, and it says. My first class instance is a, of class my class. Great, fantastic, that's wonderful. Now we're going to go my first class like that, and we're going to say we want to uh, call in the method, and the method was called, what did I call it? I called it my method. So my method like that, and it should print out this is my method, a part of my class. So I've now executed um, sort of the, the guts of, of the, the class and, and shown that it works. Um, fantastic. So exit like that. Now, I can also create this as a text file outside of Java Shell, outside of IntelliJ, and I'm going to do it like uh, like this. Um, you could do it in Nano, or you could do it, say, for instance, in a text editor. So I'm going to do it in a text editor here. I'm going to say um, uh, public class, my class, like that. And uh, let's uh, let's save it. We're going to call it um, see my class dot Java like that. All right. So this I'm using a BB Edit as an editor. There's other editors as well, like Atom and, and things like that. Um, let me see. So we're going to go and we're going to put um, public static void my method like that. And in here we're going to go system dot out dot print line this is my method a part of the class my class like that put a semicolon like that now I could have also done this inside the terminal if I you say a program like nano I could have used um, let's see this is my class there it is. This is in the nano program, just a simple little editor from the text window or terminal window. Um, I find myself right now in this folder right here on my Mac. Um, you can use PowerShell for this in Windows as well or any Linux terminal and, and, um, and that. So we have, I can just uh, try it out just to take a look. Yeah. So I do have all of uh, that file is accessible in, inside of here. Now I can go like this Java C, so the Java compiler. And uh, let's see, can I do this? 
Yeah, so I've got 14.0.1. Uh, okay, that's my, my compiler. So Java C, and I go my class dot Java. So I'm going to compile that. Excellent. I'm going to do ls for list, and we can see that um, this has just been created right there. Okay, so now I go like this. I go Java my class. I don't have to put dot Java. I don't have to put dot class. I just do it like this, and it should print to the screen. No. Okay, so main method not found in class my class. Okay, ah, so let's see. So we go like this. Main like that. Uh, string args like that. Gonna save that. So Java C my class dot Java. Okay, and then Java, and we're gonna go my class. There we go. So I had to make sure, I forgot about that. I have to make sure I've got a main method in there to be able to execute. So I don't need the main method when I'm using Java shell, but I do need a main method when I am doing a sort of standalone program like that. And uh, there you go, it worked. Okay, so there you go. So you can you can create your programs and run them and test them in IntelliJ. You can do the same thing, um, sort of in a different context with Java Shell, and using either Nano or one of the the built-in text editors in your terminal, or a standalone uh, terminal pro or a editor program uh, in in here. In you know it could be any of the ones that exist um, for whatever operating system you're on. Okay, this is this is it right for for me right here, um, and and you can create these basically executable files um, that can be launched from a terminal uh, inside of your computer. All right, take care, stay healthy, everybody. Have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.